Guys, I want to lose some weight. I put so many pounds in the winter time and I'm sure some of you have done that too. What I'm going to do here, I love bread. I want to eat bread. I have crave for bread, but I want to zero carb bread. Here is the answer. Cloud bread. Look at that baby. Pita bread. Triangle shapes. You eat it. You actually do burgers with it. You can do wraps with it. You do whatever you want to do with that bread. That gorgeous bread is going to be today in my house. I'm going to teach you how to make simple zero carb Tons of protein, very healthy, very good for you. Cloud bread. If you haven't heard of that cloud bread, keto diet is the answer. Try it and let's get cooking and let's get dirty and show you how to make that bread in under 10 minutes. So what we need, very simple ingredients actually. Three ingredients I'm having here. Just some eggs, very simple and everybody should have that. Some cream cheese and I don't use the light. I gotta use a full fatted cream cheese and it does not have any carbs at all. So cream cheese, eggs and one more ingredient and you should have that in the pantry, it's a baking soda. So I need a teaspoon of the baking soda and it is powder, it's right here. So let's get going and start to that bread and it's gonna be delicious and awesome. I'm very excited about it. I have done this bread before a couple of times and I really like it a lot and it's very satisfying. You can use it in a burger, you can use it in anything, just like a regular bread and it's gonna be soft and fluffy and it's gonna satisfy everybody who's a bread addict like myself, but no carbs at all. So if you wanna lose some weight, if you wanna be in shape, it give me a lot of protein for the people who work out, you are in the right place, you are in the right kitchen. Let's get dirty and get it going. So right now I'm going to actually use four eggs. So four eggs is here. I'm going to separate the egg whites from the egg yolk. It is hard in the beginning but you're going to get used to it. So that's how I'm going to get it done. Just go like this and just wiggle this egg right and left. Keep going like playing right and left. And if you actually drop the yellow there, the yolk there, then you're going to repeat the whole process. So I, as you see I have the white in this bowl and this yolk goes in here. And a trick for you, this bowl was in the freezer for about 30 minutes and this is where I put my egg white, so it whips very easily. That's the trick for you. And one more, so we're gonna need about four eggs. So one, two, and I'm using beautiful organic eggs. Let's keep it healthy today. So we got two so far and that goes in here. And the third, so keep counting. Don't let me cheat you here. I'm gonna use only four eggs, believe it or not. I'm gonna make tons of bread. And it's very inexpensive and very economical way to actually produce your own, your own bread. We we'll go one more here. So we have the yolk in one side and this is in another side. There's another way of doing this, but I like to do it this way. You can put your hands like that and you drop the eggs, but that's messy for me. We are chefs, so you guys are gonna be chefs very soon. You're gonna graduate from my school very soon. So let's practice some skills. Let's get some techniques going here. And that's how you do it, baby. Look at that. Just keep wiggling, 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 and juggling around these eggs. And off you are. You want to make sure no egg white whatsoever. And once you have all the egg yolk in one of these half of the eggs, off it goes here. And this is perfectly fine. So I use four eggs, and that's all I need. Let's remove this out of the way for you. And we're going to get going. Now, we need to actually add the uh, baking soda in the egg white. So half a teaspoon of the uh, baking powder, off it goes. Just half a teaspoon, not too much, and everybody has that. You could put, add some salt, you could add some sugar. I'm not gonna add it, it's an optional. If you wanna add a half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of sugar, it's gonna give you some oomph, some flavor, but I don't think you need it because you're gonna have a tons of flavor coming out of the cream cheese. So you could use also cottage cheese if you will. It will work very well. Now we need about four tablespoons of that cream cheese and the cream cheese is going to the egg yolk. So that's about four, two, three, four of this cream cheese going in here. If you want me to actually measure it for you, I'll show you that's a one. That's a two, about a two, about a three. Here we are. And this is beautiful Philadelphia cream cheese here. You can use any kind of cream cheese. I'm not affiliated to Philadelphia at all, but I'm just letting you know what kind of cream cheese I prefer. I love that cheese, it's so nice. Very, very important to use good quality cheese. So whatever cream cheese quality you have, you could use. And now let's get dirty, let's get cooking, guys, here. I'm gonna just clean my hands here so I don't get messy and I mess up my blender. So off we go. We're gonna actually whip the cream cheese with the egg yolk first. So I have here a hand blender. Everybody has that at home, so you could use that. And let's go and start the whipping process. Go slowly first. So when you whip the cream cheese, go slow with the blender first. So it doesn't splash all over the place. Once you have that consistency going, once you get it going and it's happening and it's looking happy, happy for you and splashing all over the walls and the ceiling, we don't wanna get you in trouble. Don't splash your whole, your whole house with that stuff. Go easy and gentle with the blender on the first speed and just nice and easy like that. And let's just get it going. And once it goes nicely, we're gonna go faster. So now I'm gonna go faster. And it takes about four minutes. And it's gonna be awesome. Here we go. It's 
to get to the egg white. You're gonna get it so stiff here. You know what to do? Why did you see belt to escape off? The take off guys, don't you wanna fly? I cannot fly anywhere right now, I wish I could, but at least I get the feel like I'm taking off in a plane, don't I? Let's go guys, here we go. Let's go faster. Alright guys, so right now we're just gonna mix this two babies together like such and we're gonna get every drop out of this egg white here because I worked so hard to get this nice texture going and now we're gonna fold this mixture along with a very nice spatula or a spoon whatever you have very nice and gentle don't go crazy don't whip the hell out of it because that's the idea you want to keep this formula to be fluffy to be nice and happy happy so you don't want to actually whip the hell out of it. don't go like crazy like I did before you guys are wise, you're good boys and good girls, so you're gonna do the right thing and just keep folding nice and easy like that and just keep going along and you see this cloud and I see that bread is gonna be awesome already. So that's all I needed to do. That's all I have to do. Just mix it nice and gentle. Now I get this spoon out of the way and I'm gonna start to put my bread over here. Before I do that, I need a little bit of butter. So I'm gonna get a little bit of butter here and I'm just gonna brush it in this harshman paper. I have a nice baking sheet here. I only need one only and uh, we're gonna actually brush it with the butter like such just so it doesn't stick you don't have to but I like to do that if you have a cooking spray you could use this I don't like fancy and artificial stuff so I'm using just regular butter here and I'm gonna just make sure that I brush it lightly with the butter so the bread does not stick in the bottom of the harshman paper however it shouldn't anyway any paper will work but I like that paper harshman paper is very nice designed to go in the oven my oven is ready, it's hot, about 275 degrees to 300, every oven is different. So I suggest you guys when you do that bread, just check it out, make a small portion first in the oven and once you get it perfect and you're happy with it, then you can do the next portion. Don't go crazy like that one shot, because look, for four eggs and a four spoons of cream cheese, I created tons of this mixture. And let me show you how you do it. Let's get going because I'm hungry, I don't want to talk too much, I just want to get this going. And we're going to get this here. We serve, we put it like that, we just dish it in this tray and look at that beautiful texture. One scoop is one bread. We're gonna do three here, one, two. If you wanna make it bigger, you can do a bigger scoop, but that's good enough for me. I'm gonna put two here, three, look at that. So it's gonna be all even almost, because the scoop is gonna be even in the size. Look at that, here we go, one more. And you got the idea, let's go a bit faster. Let's go a bit faster, here we go, one. And all you have to do is just drop it there and it does its own thing. It's gonna actually be perfectly even and perfectly balanced. You got the idea. I already filled this tree and I made already seven breads and they're gonna get bigger. So keep it spaced out about half an inch apart from each other. That's a beautiful bread. Let's go, I'm very hungry guys. Let's go to the oven right now. So okay, we're gonna put this in the oven guys here. The oven is about 275 degrees. It's gonna be ready in about 15 minutes. Okay guys, so 15 minutes have passed and that bread came out. It does actually come closer to each other, but that's fine. I'm gonna take it here and let's see if it sticks. I uh, did a good job. I think it did not stick at all and it looks wonderful. Look at that. You could use it as a bread, you can use it as a wrap. You can use it the way you want to use it. It doesn't matter how you're gonna use it, but just use it. And then we're gonna cut it and we're gonna go from there. And we're gonna start showing you what's happening with this thing. And uh, we're gonna space it out like such. You're gonna keep it, you can cut it square, you can cut it whatever shapes you wanna do. So I'm just gonna keep going like this. You could do triangle like a pita kind of thing. So if you have like some kind of hummus, you can pair it with that. So you can make like a pita bread out of it, like triangles. You can keep it rounded, you can do whatever you wanna do with it. And that's how I like my bread to be, the healthy bread. Let's try, so you got the idea. Now I'm gonna give you a trick here. If you wanna keep that bread very soft, and you wanna actually keep it, maintain it to the next day or even a week, Place it in a ziplock bag like such and it's going to stay very very soft. If you don't do that, it's going to harden up a little bit. But if you do this, keep it until it cools off. So let's do some more here of that bread. And look at that beautiful sheen. And I like the texture. And what about the flavor? We forgot to eat it. The chef forgot to eat. What silly that chef is. Look at this thing. Here you go. Mmm. It's beautiful. Look at the crust in that bread. Look at that crust. Inside and outside. Tons of protein here. And imagine eating bread with zero carb, isn't that beautiful? So you can dig with some sauce, some peas, some anything. You can eat it just like a regular bread. 
And that's very nice. And for your breakfast, if you want to lose some weight, I'm not saying you're fat, but some of us, like you know, after that winter, we got a little bit of this, right? So we want to trim, eat that bread, make that bread take you no time at all. Five, ten minutes, and you're going to have beautiful, wonderful bread. And it's going to fill you up in the morning. That's going to be your breakfast, and you're going to lose tons of weight, and you're going to be healthy. And the people who work out, they have tons of protein. So those big muscles are going to be amazing. And you're going to appreciate it. And you're going to subscribe to your traveling chef. Please do so if you haven't yet. I appreciate all your likes, guys. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Healthy food or unhealthy food, whatever you name it, I'm going to bring it out to you. Any comment, anything you want to see in the next video, please drop me a comment below. I promise you I'll do my best to actually deliver for you. Love you. Traveling Chef is here. Peace, everybody.